According to the World Bank Migration and Development Brief of 2022, a number of low- and middle-income countries posted a 5% remittance flow as compared to the 10.2% recorded in 2021. This disposable income withstood the global headwinds in 2022, growing to an estimated $626 billion United States dollars. Apart from the growth being slightly lower than the figure in 2021, the remittance flow was lower than the expected target of $792 billion United States dollars in the year 2022. The 5% from the 10.2% increase in 2021 was attributed to the growth rate, to the severe exposure to concurrent unforeseen circumstances, such as the spikes in global energy and food commodity prices. The countries in the low- and middle-income bracket saw the widespread of depreciation in currencies against the United States dollar, heightened by commodity-based inflation in domestic currency terms. This factor highly constrained the real household budgets and increased the demand for overseas funding through remittances. In developing countries such as Zambia and many others in and beyond the sub-Saharan region, the remittance flows were shaped by several factors in 2022, such as the reopening of host economies as the COVID-19 pandemic receded support. However, the remittances to Zambia and other sub-Saharan countries are estimated to have increased by 5.2% compared to the 16.4% last year. Among the top five recipients for remittances in 2022 are India, which established a benchmark of 100 billion United States dollars, followed by Mexico, which had a tally of 60 billion United States dollars, as well as China, the Philippines, and the Arab Republic of Egypt. Shem Malinda. Damn on you.